Lesson 312, tenths of a seven centimeter. The focus in this lesson is for you to be able to measure to the nearest centimeter and millimeter. I'm going to introduce to you millimeters. I want you to practice reading decimals, and I want you to be able to convert rainfall measurements from centimeters to millimeters and plot and compare that data. But let's start first with our mental math and fluency. Round this number to the nearest hundred thousands. Time and time again, I've told you, when you're rounding to hundred thousands, find that place value up above. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands. Underline it. Draw an arrow because the number to the right of it tells you what to do with the number you just underlined. Look at your roller coaster paper that you should have in your math two pocket folder. If it's five and up, that tells me that I should round this number three up one place to four. And then every other number after it becomes a zero. So what does 357,193 round to when I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000? 400,000. Again, look at the next one. It's telling me to round to the nearest 10,000. So you should write the number down <clears throat> and you should underline ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Draw an arrow from the number up to its right to that number and the number to the right is going to tell you what to do with that five. Five on up tells you to round this number up. So seven is more than five, so I'm going to round that number to six. Every number after that is going to become a zero. But I can't forget to write the number down before the three. That is important. I'm not rounding this to 60,000. I'm rounding this to 360,000. Let's check and see if we did that correctly. And we did. Again, this time it's telling us round that number to the thousands place. So we underline the thousands place. We draw an arrow because the number to its right tells us what to do with that seven. It is four and lower, so we're going to leave that number alone. That's what the number one told us to do to the seven, is let it alone. Every number after that becomes a zero, but we didn't round this to 7,000. The number we started with was 357,000. So we have to use the three and the five also in our newly rounded number. So uh, when we round to the thousands place, what should our number be? Sorry about that. Should not have drawn on that. Our number is 357,000. Make sure to practice those with me because that's a skill that you're going to be tested on again and again. It's not going away and you'll be working with rounding numbers the rest of your middle school, high school academic career. What we're going to do now is I want you to get out Math Journal, page 98. And it says, cut out the centimeter ruler, use it to complete problem one on the printed page, and record your measures here. So that's what I need you to do. You need to get Math Masters, page TA35, and you need to cut out the centimeter millimeter rulers. Make sure that you find that centimeter mark on your rulers. And notice that on the centimeter millimeter rulers, each centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts. Pause the tape now, cut those out, and make sure that you are seeing that each centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts. Then turn the recording back on to hear what I'm going to tell you next. Each one of those parts measures one millimeter. 
and the abbreviation for millimeter is mm. Use a highlighter and mark mm and cm on the ruler so that you're sure to emphasize those units. So what personal measurement could you think of that would use a one millimeter measurement? Well, it's about the thickness of a dime or the thickness of a thumbtack point or maybe the thickness of a wire in a paper clip. That's how thick one millimeter is. And you would need 10 of those to equal a centimeter. So how many millimeters are in a centimeter? 10. Again, this is just reaffirming my instructions that I gave to you. I want you to use that ruler to measure the pencils to the nearest centimeter. So this is your math journal, page 98. Please pause the recording now and do that math journal page. When you are finished, bring it up to me so that I can correct it to make sure you're understanding what you are doing. So I'm quizzing you again. What measurement could you use to figure out approximately what one millimeter looks like? You should be thinking about that paper clip wire thickness. You should be thinking about that thumbtack point. Or you should be thinking about that thickness of a dime. How many millimeters did we say are in a centimeter? If you forget this, you can always get out your measuring tool again and look. And it's 10. When the centimeter is the whole, what fraction of a centimeter is one millimeter? Well, if the fraction of the centimeter is a whole, and we said that we have one out of that whole, we have one tenth. So the centimeter is the whole. How many millimeters did we say were in that centimeter? We said 10, but we only have one out of that 10. So how do you write this fraction as a decimal? Well, the one needs to go in the tenth spot. So we don't have any holes at this point, and we have one in the tenth spot. With words, how I write, would write that? One tenth. And sorry, that's T-E-N-T-H. My handwriting is not the best using this cursor. So finish that page and we already um, have completed that and I already should have checked that for you. So SRB page 284. When you turn to page 284 you're going to notice that it's asking and showing you the normal September rainfall in centimeters. Take a look at that page. Why do you think the normal September rainfall is based on 30 years of measurement? Well, hopefully you're thinking a single year might not give a good picture of what a city's precipitation is like. That year might have been especially rainy or especially dry. So I want you to get Math Masters, page 136, because you're going to be using that with your student reference book, page 284. So pause the tape now and make sure that you have both things. Now I want you to find the amount of precipitation for Salt Lake City. Read that number. Hopefully you read it three and one tenth centimeters. Because a centimeter is the whole, 
the 0 0.1 in 3.1 centimeters means one tenth of a centimeter. Remember, you need to follow these steps when reading decimals. Read the whole number, that's the part to the left of the decimal point. The second thing you need to do is say the word and, that's where the decimal point is, and then read the digits after the decimal point as though they are a whole number. Immediately say tenths or hundredths depending on the placement of the final digit. If the final digit is in the tenths place, you would say tenths. If it's in the hundredths place, you would say hundredths. Math Journal, page 99. Student Reference Books, page 284. And Math Masters, page 136, will all be needed to complete Math Journal, page 199. So I want you to be able to convert centimeters and millimeters in this assignment. So please stop the recording now. Do Math Journal, page 99. Follow those instructions, and then the, turn the recording back on when you are finished. Bring the, papers, bring the papers also up to me so that I can see that you understand what you're doing and are carrying over what I have suggested. I am going to read this first one for you in case you struggle a little with what it says. It says, use the scale at the left, so you're using this, and the map from the student reference book, which I already told you, the page number, and you should already have page 284 there. Draw a dot to show the amount of precipitation for each of the following cities. So you're looking for where that would go exactly on this scale. So please be careful how large you make your dots. I need to be able to tell if you have the dot on the line 20 or on the halfway mark or one of the millimeters in between. So carefully mark those answers. Again, pause the recording and bring it up to me. After you finish that page, and I've already checked it, I want you to go to Math Journal page 100. On Math Journal page 100, you are going to be reviewing quadrilaterals and right triangles. You know you're on the right page if this is the first problem and it reads, circle the polygon or polygons that have two sets of parallel sides. Go ahead and finish this page, then bring it up to me so that I can double check your answers. Again, pause the recording and complete it. The next step that you're gonna do is Math Journal page 101. For these, you are just simply choosing true for T for true or F for false. You will actually be writing them. So it asks, 1600, does that equal one one thousands plus six hundreds? What I want you to do is, if you write T over here, I want you to write the number you think that that equals. And if you write false over here, I guess I still want you to write it because if you get that answer wrong, I want you to show me what you think one set of a thousands plus six sets of a hundred equal. So this is on Math Journal page 101 again. Please complete that page, pause the recording, and when you're done, bring it up to me so that I can check it. This is what that Math Journal page looks like that you should be working on. You should have paused it so that you did not see those answers and I should have corrected it. And the final thing you're going to do for this unit is Math Masters page 139. This is going to be measuring centimeters and millimeters. It says find six objects in your home to measure. Well, you're going to find six objects to measure in our classroom. Use the ruler from the bottom of this page, print page, to measure them. First in centimeters, then in millimeters. And you're going to record those objects and their measurements below and on the next screen. Step back to me and I'll tell you the six, six objects that I want you to measure. And when you finish this page, I want to correct it to make sure you understand how to measure in centimeters and millimeters. Thank you. You are done with this lesson.